You may already play games on your Android smartphone or tablet, but wouldn't it be nice if you could play them on a bigger screen and with actual controllers? Well, you can. Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie Cha for All Things D, and for this week's review, I checked out a product called Green Throttle, which aims to turn your Android device into a game console. Green Throttle is a combination of two things. First, you have the Green Atlas game controller, and then there's the Arena app that acts as the game center for buying and playing games. The controller costs $40 each, and if your smartphone or tablet has video out capabilities, meaning that it can output video to a TV, then you can buy one of the bundle packs, which includes cables for connecting your device to the TV. The Arena app is free and available from the Google Play Store. It works with any smartphone or tablet running Android 4.0 or higher. Um, for my test, I used it with the Google Nexus 7, as well as the Amazon Kindle Fire HD. The storefront is pretty straightforward. Uh, home is where you'll find the latest news, as well as most recently played games and featured games. My game shows you all the titles that you've downloaded, and recommended shows editor's picks. Settings is where you can find software updates and also where you pair the controllers. Uh, the controls are powered by two AA batteries and connects via Bluetooth and Green Throttle includes the batteries uh, with the pricing, so that's nice. Uh, during initial setup, it took a really long time for the app to find the controllers, but after a few minutes, they eventually appeared in the list and I was able to connect to um, them with no problem afterwards. The Atlas controller is very similar to the ones uh, used for the Xbox and Sony PlayStation. It's got two analog sticks, a directional pad, X, Y, A, B buttons, and trigger and shoulder buttons on top. And I thought the layout of the controls was comfortable and the buttons didn't feel too stiff or mushy. Once everything is paired, you can start playing games. I've got the Kindle Fire HD here hooked up to my TV via HDMI. And as you can see, the gameplay is pretty smooth. It was really nice to be able to play these games on a larger screen and the physical controller made it easier to complete actions and maneuver through games. Also, uh, what's nice is that you can have uh, multiple players. So if a game has you know, two players, you can just get a second controller and have them join in. So that's nice. Now, most of the games that are available for Green Throttle are casual or retro arcade style games not going to find really advanced or graphic intensive titles like you might find on the Xbox or Sony PlayStation. They're fun for a while though, um, but only a couple of them like APO Snow here really hooked me in. The big drawback of Green Throttle is the selection of games, um, more specifically the number of games. Currently there are only eight titles available to play with two coming soon. The company says they're adding about one to two new games a week, so the library will definitely grow, but until then, I think uh, I'd hold off on the green throttle. It's a great way to enhance the mobile gaming experience, but it just uh, simply needs more games. For more on green throttle, please check out my review uh, at allthingsd.com. I'm Bonnie Cha, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.